Answering processing, and if so, when is this going to When Parliament met today, the Manus Asylum Processing Center was one of the topics of discussion. It was raised by Manus Governor Charlie Benjamin, who wanted to know if it was the intention of the state to expand the Lombroom Asylum Processing Center. Australian government by setting one base plong em manus. Suppose this play true, I'm meeting Tim Logaman in a view, Minister. Clear him all the people of Papua New Guinea. Thank you. Foreign Affairs Minister Rimbing Pato denied this, stating that there will be a new center as an extension, however, not on Lombroom. Costs and expenses of settlement, uh, resettlement of the asylum seekers, once they comply with the process. Uh, set by PNG under its uh, uh, Migration Act or the United Nations uh, Convention relating to the refugees uh, and other principles of international law, the costs will be borne by the Australian government. The issue for uh, those that occasion to arise has not yet come about. At this point in time, we're developing the facilities and the, the costs associated with the development is being addressed. A supplementary question was raised by a member for Kikori, Mark Maipakai, questioning whether the PNG government will meet the cost of resettling refugees if they ever choose PNG as a resettlement option. In the event those asylum seekers accept citizenship, Australian government will fund their stay in this country. Can you deny or confirm that? Minister Pato informed Parliament that Australia will meet all associated costs if this comes about. The situation at uh, Lombrum uh, Naval Base is that uh, it is a classified security uh, area for the Papua New Guinea Defence Force and uh, it is not the intent of our government to replace it as a, uh, as a permanent uh, processing centre for asylum seekers but it uh, has so happened and I've asked a full uh, briefing on this from my department. He told Parliament that under the resettlement arrangement, Australia has committed 1.2 billion Australian dollars towards the setting up of the processing centre, plus other costs related to developing the centre. The government in the next review of this agreement will take into account costs relating to resettling genuine refugees in PNG and present its position to the Australian government. Michelle Amba, National MTV News.